And now we move on to some question answers. On this chapter, uh, I'll give you the hints also about the answer. What you need to understand is, you must write original answers. You must try to write in your own language and do not copy it from the book. मैं यहाँ आपको सख्त हिदायत दूंगा, एक स्पष्ट चेतावनी दूंगा कि आप अपने उत्तर स्वयं लिखें, पुस्तक से नकल ना करें, क्योंकि नकल जो करते हैं वो याद नहीं रख पाते हों। और कहीं प्रश्न में थोड़ा सा बदलाव आया और आपने नकल कॉपी कर दी, तो इतना लंबा चौड़ा लिखने के बाद भी पूरा उत्तर गलत हो जाता है। so try to understand the chapter. I'm sure you have understood the chapter well. And in a very simple language, point by point, write answers. I'll also give you some hints to some of the questions that we are going to do. Let us have first few questions before you, for you to answer. First question, do you think Umbato Eco likes being interviewed. Give reasons for your opinion. Kya aapko aisa lagta hai ki Umbato Eco ko interview dena acha lagta hai? Apne vichar ke paksh mein karan likhe. Jo bhi aapka vichar hai. This is question number one. Write in your own language. Second question, how does Eco find the time to write so much? How does Eco find the time to write so much? Eco ko itna likhne ka samay kaha mil, kaise mil jata hai? Third, what was distinctive about, distinctive means clear which can be seen clearly. Something which can be seen clearly. Just as saaf dekha ja sake. What was distinctive about Eco's academic writing style? Eco's academic writing style. Uske likhne ki shali ke baare mein kya khasiyat hai? Fourth question. Did Umberto consider himself a novelist first or an academic scholar? Umberto apne ko novelist manta hai ya scholar manta hai. Uttar likhe. And last is, what is the reason for huge success of his novel, The Name of the Rose? What is the reason for, ek reason dena hai bas aapko. Ye short questions hain sab. For huge success of the novel, The Name of the Rose. So here are the five questions. Covering a kind of, it's a quick recap on part two of this chapter. And that you need to answer yourself. Now let's move to a few bigger questions. Long questions. Among the long questions, the first one, the long question that we may have is, write in brief, the history of the interviews. Write in brief, the history of as you know of interviews. In interview, you have to mention the Penguin book. You have to mention Christopher Silvetler's contribution. You also have to mention about Edison that I told you. And then <coughs> you have to mention about different types of interviews different purposes of interview and also different methods of interview. Next question. Why did Louis Carroll hate being interviewed? Louis Carroll ko interview se nafrat kyon thi? Same question continues. What was Rudyard Kipling's opinion about interview. What was Rudyard Kipling's opinion about interview? 
when it comes to Louis Carroll, what do you have to write? He talks about the lionization. Lionized by the interviewer, Louis Carroll hated. And as a result, what happened? He kept everyone at distance, tried to convince everyone to keep themselves away from him. What about Rudyard Kipling? He also hated being interviewed. And he has his own reasons. As his wife mentioned in the diary very clearly, you have to describe that short story, what she mentioned about the two journalists coming up in the morning and spoiling the day. The next question is, the celebrities hate being interviewed because they think it is unwanted, unwarranted disturb their privacy. Why? I repeat, the celebrities hate being interviewed because they think it unwanted, unwarranted. It disturbs their private life. Why do they think so? The answer is that most celebrities feel that it is an intrusion into their private life. Hamare apne khud ke jeevan पे एक तरीके से वो हमला है इंट्रूजन है वी एस नेपाल उसका तो कहना था ही लॉस्ट ए पार्ट ऑफ हिज सेल्फ वाई लुई करोल कॉल्ड इट इमोरल एच जी वेल्स कॉल्ड इट एन ऑडियल एक बहुत कठिन दौर एंड सॉल बेलो थम्ब प्रिंट्स ऑन हिज विंड पाइप गले को चोक करने जैसा लगता है सो इन दिस यू हैव टू आंसर राइट अबाउट दीज फोर फाइव फेमस पर्सन थ्री थ्री लाइन्स ईच यूजिंग द की सेंटेंसेज दैट दे यूज वाइल टॉकिंग अबाउट टॉकिंग नेगेटिव अबाउट द इंटरव्यू यू रिमेंबर डेविड लॉज द क्वेश्चन इज डेविड लॉज वन सेड अबाउट अम्बर्ट को आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वन कैन राइट सो मच as he does what did eco say in interview about it david lodge what he said you have read but in response to this statement of david lodge what did eco told mukund the interviewer reminded eco about the statement of lodge and the eco replied that he did not do too many things you remember he said i do one and the same thing in different ways using different methods and what is that one and the same thing he says ki all my writings are towards philosophical interests mera jo darshan shastra ke prati interest hai darshanik ruchi hai इस सब में मेरी दार्शनिक रुचि दिखती है तो ये तो कॉमन है बड़ा सरल है अलग अलग चीजें मैं नहीं करता सो परसुइंग माई फिलोसफिकल इंटरेस्ट आई डू सो मेनी थिंग राइट नॉवेल्स राइट सीरियस बुक्स एंड मैनी अदर थिंग्स फॉर चिल्ड्रन attending seminars interviews writing articles for newspapers etc et they all have one common thread they all satisfy my academic philosophical pursuit this is what is reply next question how is umberto's non fiction writing non fiction writing a departure from his regular writings kaise ve usse alag hai amberto ki gair kalpanik lekhni uski likhit shaili se kaise dur hai anya shaili se kaise dur hai how is it different eco uh, non fictional writing it's a departure departure matlab alag disha mein jana 
from a regular style in one sense that it contains playful method personalized quality it connects the two he does not like false hypothesis usse wo tarika pasand nahi ki hum pehle kalpanik ek shodh ke tarike ka rasta ikhtiyar kare jahan kalpana ki udan mein jaye फिर उसके बाद उसको सही करें और फिर निष्कर्ष निकालें उसका कहना होता है कि मुझे तो सीधा तरीका पसंद है कहानी लिखने जैसा आई फाइंड दैट काइंड ऑफ राइटिंग जो रेगुलर एकेडमिक स्टाइल थी वो बड़ी डीप पर्सनलाइज थी बहुत बोरिंग होती थी बहुत डल थी अम्बाटो डज नॉट लाइक फ्लैट स्टाइल ही राइट स्टोरीज ऑन द अदर ही टेल्स द स्टोरी ऑफ इस टाइम्स इन ए नरेटिव फॉर्म इंक्लूडिंग हिज ट्रायल्स इंक्लूडिंग हिज फेल्योर्स वो पूरी सच्चाई रख देता है उसमें सामने सो इन दिस वे यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब एम बर्ट ऑफ द स्टाइल इज डिफरेंट फ्राम इन फिक्शनल एंड नॉन फिक्शनल बोथ नाउ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन जस्टिफाई द टाइटल द इंटरव्यू जस्टिफाई करना मतलब उचित ठहराना इस लेख का जो शीर्षक है द इंटरव्यू क्या वो उचित है यदि राजी हैं तो कारण लिखें द आंसर कुड बी समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर इट डील्स विथ लाइकिंग एंड डिसलाइकिंग ऑफ इंटरव्यूज बाय सेलिब्रिटीज जो पहला पार्ट है उसमें सेलिब्रिटीज जो हैं प्रसिद्ध लोग हैं उनकी पसंद नापसंद इंटरव्यू के बारे में हैं और सामान्यतया जनरली सेलिब्रिटीज जो हैं वो इंटरव्यू को पसंद नहीं करते क्योंकि उनका कहना है कि इंटरव्यू इज है ना इट इट एंटर्स इन टू प्राइवेट लाइफ उसमें ये भी बताया गया है कि सम पीपल फील दैट इंटरव्यूज आर लाइक ऑडियल्स Some feel it is like a print finger on the throat, and different. It some feel it is an assault, and to some it is immoral. ये पहले पार्ट में इंटरव्यू के बारे में बताया गया, और दूसरे पार्ट में तो इंटरव्यू ही लिया गया है. In the second part, interview of Ambato is there, who is a famous novelist by Mukund Padmanabhan, who is works for Hindu, the Hindu. a daily newspaper and so we find that right from beginning to end the content is all about interview and that is the reason why the title given is the interview and that is the reason we consider this title to be appropriate and we justify the title is justified there are still a few questions looking to be as important as the one that we have done coming to my mind and these questions one of them is describe the opinion for and against the interview as mentioned in the lesson describe the opinions for and against paksh or vipaksh for matlab paksh mein against matlab vipaksh mein in the given in this chapter we have several times done this exercise through other question so what you have to do is you have to write about celebrities opinions one by one all celebrities and then in the end you have to say that because even if this is true even if there are many negative opinions about interview interview is still the best method today for different purposes it still remains the best method hum aapko likhna hai ki sakshatkaron ke madhyam se hamare samkalin logo ki sabse jo clear chhavi hai wo hame milti hai sachchi chhavi milti hai we get the true picture of our contemporaries और साक्षात्कार जो है इंटरव्यू जो है 
it has the interview has become a kind of a special thing of modern time journalism it has given uh, a new scope of uh, uh, getting to know the people new way of getting to know the people isne sakshatkar ko ek tarike se patrakarita ki ek khas vidya ka roop de diya hai so with that we come to an end of question answer session now the last part is few of the difficult words of course i have spoken quite a lot about many of the difficult words that were there but there are still few that you need to know and so here they are spectacular spectacular matlab chamatkar your performance was spectacular the annual function of your school was spectacular bahut shandar atyant prabhavshali seminal s e m i n a l seminal iska matlab hota hai atyant prabhavshali it is a seminal book on this topic bahut hi moolbhut original kitab hai is vishay par seminal similarly metaphysics metaphysics means tattva vigyan tattva vigyan theology means dharma vigyan study of religion dissertation dissertation ka padhate samay maine bataya tha please note the spelling उसका हिंदी में अनुवाद है शोध कार्य वॉट इज दैट डिजर्टेशन जब भी कोई सा हम कोई काम करते हैं और यदि उसमें हम रिसर्च करते हैं वैज्ञानिक तरीके से उसमें खोज करते हैं फिर उसको हम एक एक लेखन का रूप देते हैं वी गिव इट द शेप ऑफ ए काइंड ऑफ पब्लिकेशन और फ्यू पेजेज रिटर्न दैट इज कॉल्ड डिजर्टेशन Hypothesis. Hypothesis means परिकल्पना है Frustrated means कुंठित I am feeling very frustrated because I could not, I missed the train. I am feeling frustrated because I missed the train. मुझे बड़ी कुंठे कुंठा महसूस हो रही है क्योंकि मैंने ट्रेन मिस कर दी तो दिस मीन्स फ्रस्ट्रेटेड मीन्स कुंठित Formidable. फॉर्मिडेबल मतलब भयानक शक्तिशाली आई फेज ए फॉर्मिडेबल चैलेंज ड्यूरिंग माई जर्नी टू नॉर्थ पोल ड्यूरिंग माई जर्नी टू हिमालय हिमालय की यात्रा में मैंने एक बड़ा खतरनाक भयानक चैलेंज फेस किया फॉर्मिडेबल सेमियोटिक्स आई टोल्ड यू लक्षण विज्ञान उसके बाद नेक्स्ट वर्ड मेडिवल मेडिवल मीन्स मध्यकालीन आपको बताया एंशियन मतलब पूर्व प्राचीन काल मॉडर्न मीन्स आधुनिक काल स्टैगरिंग स्टैगरिंग मीन्स अत्याधिक स्टैगरिंग नंबर ऑफ पीपल शोड अप ऑन द ग्राउंड मैदान में बड़ी भारी संख्या में अत्याधिक संख्या में लोग आ गए द फिगर इज स्टैगरिंग जो संख्या है बहुत बड़ी है आई कैन नॉट डिस्क्राइब सो बिग द अमाउंट इज स्टैगरिंग रकम बहुत बड़ी है एथिकल एथिकल मतलब नैतिक नैतिक योर कंडक्ट मस्ट बी एथिकल तुम्हारा अपना व्यवहार नैतिक व्यवहार होना चाहिए एथिकल मीन्स नैतिक और उसके बाद है इंटरस्टाइसिस मतलब अंतराल इंटरस्टाइसिस को हटाओ तो दुनिया मुट्ठी में है दैट इज वॉट सम वन सेज हु सेज यू फाइंड आउट सो इंटर दैट दैट वर्ड यूज बाय दैट सम वन इज इंटरस्टाइसिस अंतराल गैप स्पेस एंड एलिवेटर आई टोल्ड यू इज द लिफ्ट सो विद दिस 
We have also done difficult words. We have done question answers. Hope you have understood this chapter well. And it's a very interesting chapter. You can still read more about interviews from different sources and enjoy reading.